Hello everybody, Torgal here and welcome to Unabridged on the Primus server. Now this is a new series I'm starting today and I wanted to talk to you guys about how did I end up here. Now Primus is a long established community of YouTubers and they just started this server here um, and they decided to run with the Unabridged pack. And a few days ago I was approached by Brink the Gamer. He's like, hey, um, how would you like to join us here on the server? And of course, I was super thrilled and I'm, I'm very happy and thankful that he approached me. It's it's awesome. And yeah, uh, pretty much the next day I was on here whitelisted and I started building my little spawn hut. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is going to be a new series. And I'm going to put all the other players that are on the server and their channels down into my description, of course. Um which is going to replace my agrarian skies 2 series um honestly guys i've been looking for a new series um, to run alongside my mod sauce 2 series because i am burned out on single player hq impacts guys um i know that a lot of you um that have been subscribed to my channel for a long time found me through that um crafting paradise clouds of darkness um and now the last one was agrarian skies 2 and many in between but i just I'm done. I not I don't I wouldn't say I'm done for good, but I need a break from it. I just want to be able to be free building and so on and there's this mod pack just like Modsos 2 it's it's different. Um you know, there's still going to be a lot of mods here that we are familiar with, but there's also mods in here that I've never played with. Now, first thing I wanted to mention is I died once so far um during a blood moon. I've played with blood moon before. But it was in Clouds of Darkness. Oh, and the first mod sauce had it too. But I never really had the problems. But a creeper spawned, I'm not kidding, five blocks next to me and instantly exploded. I had no chance to react. It was crazy. Um, so I got one death on me. And it's overall very hard. There's some really strong mobs in here. Um, from, I think one of the mods is Quiverbow. Um, Sice, uh, he's online right now, told me last night that he was in, he's in full dark steel armor with enchants. And he got one-shotted by one of the archers or something. So, I've been spending most of that time within Spawn City here. And I wanted to give you guys a quick tour there before we get started with today's episode. Um, oops, one more. I didn't want to give away what's behind me in case, um, I would spoil something. But yeah, this was a village here, um... That they pretty much made their spawn the actual spawn i think if you start the seed is a little bit away you gotta make your way here but you guys see the coordinates negative 1700 uh by negative 1000 and uh the seed in case you guys are wondering is primus smp i'm gonna put that down in the description on this episode so if you guys want to play along in the same world um it's going to be in the down there um and they built this wall here oops again what's happening here <laughs> all right let's go ahead and fly over there you know I, I, they certainly upgraded a lot of the village buildings and you see there's lots of stuff popping up this i'm gonna call it the cathedral or i'm guessing that's what that is i mean it looks like a cathedral the clock's gonna it should yeah there we go it renders now it's really nice this is this is really cool looking look at the amount of micro blocks that there are here and stuff um very very nicely built and i well there there's pretty much only one rule that uh, we have on the server and that is until the ender dragon is slain um you're not allowed to live outside or move outside of 1000 blocks from spawn um the furthest i have explored was to over here which is pretty much 1000 blocks to here and then you know i stopped and turned around and this was actually all on foot because i was looking for botania flowers there there's so little botania flowers i can find i did find uh, the ones i was looking for finally and it might be you know from all the other players because they i think have about two weeks head start to me um you know gathering them all or due to the plant mega pack and adds a lot of foliage it's it's actually quite cool a lot of the stuff looks really nice but it makes it a little hard to to find what you're looking for and there's also i'm running um when you install the pack there is a unity mod that i have installed that unifies a lot of the textures but i am running 
also on top of that um, my faithful 32 because i just i love it um you guys know that's my favorite pack my favorite texture pack so now let's get going here you yeah, see there's a public smelter with everything that i could need it's it was really helpful getting some of these tools done um you know i get an iron pick uh iron rapier medoc shovel hatchet and even a lumite lumber axe already um and I've been leveling them because we got Iguana Treaks. This guy is at skill level master. So I can mining level 10. Um, so I still, I have really not mined a lot at all. I've been spending building uh, my spawn house, which you guys see over here. This is my spawn house that I built. It was a little um, village building, but I just didn't like the look of it. You know, it was cobble and, and oak. So I built this little thing here. The last few days and you guys can see there's a lot of living rock so that was actually the most time consuming making all this living rock it was crazy let me show you guys the inside this is pretty much i'm in the town center there was an unclaimed building here there's another one right there that's not claimed i don't think is this one claimed here this one is claimed by somebody okay and i still have some decorating to do but it's a nice little hobbit hole well it's not really a hobbit hole it's a house but um check out the store guys we got the what is it called mm, something with m malice's doors and it's pretty cool let me just show you guys my settings should still be there um they have this thing up here too the door factory yeah and i selected sliding up opening time i didn't leave i didn't change this and i made the sound type like a carriage door and then under materials the frame type i did living rock the top block material i made glass and the bottom block material i took a great wood log and then you click on create door and that is it and then you just place it it is really really cool i'm digging it um by the way um i need to look into tinker's construct a little bit because when i was smelting my ore up here and i haven't figured out yet what does it but when you put an why is this still here get out of here when you put an ore in here it it insta smelts it takes like one second and boom and you don't see the progress bar going up at all it just smelted and i'm not sure what causes that if it has something to do with this tinker io mod so i'm gonna have to look into that because that is really interesting and you know of course everything else is here all the casts um and so on so i didn't have to make any of that which is very helpful to catch up and just focus on building the house so, but now let me give you guys the tour inside. I love this tour. I could do this all day. It's so cool. And it closes because I got a carpenter's pressure plate here. So this is my little house here. Um, I just made deco craft bench. Got two um, furnaces. Very little metal left. The gold I got all from the Thumbcraft reward bags. Um, we have an enderman farm. I'm going to show you guys that enderman farm in a minute. Um, and, you know, I smelted all these gold coins into nuggets and then combined them. And what I found mostly was copper exploring. There's a lot of almost surface copper, you know, like in the beginnings of caves and so on. This uh, steam engine I got from a village and this guy I actually built earlier, but we're not using it yet. Um, that's probably going to be next episode when we start with some ore processing or something. Um, but there was... Yeah, we'll do this next time too. I got, I gotta stay focused. <laughs> All right. So, and this, and um, like a little lapis, actually over from the smelty. There is a chest, and what I used it for was dying. I know it's, it's kind of crazy, but I wanted to make some deco craft stuff like that. One stained glass that's up in here, and these two chandeliers because I needed to get rid of the X's here, right? And I did not want to have too many torches. I still needed this torch to get rid of dark spots here. And this torch to get rid of a dark spot right there. I wasn't sure if something had spawned. Um, but it did show, so I don't think that door blocks it anyways. And this one is still empty. And then we just got wood products, um, stone products, plant stuff, and mob drops. And you guys see I already have three stacks of ender pearls from the farm. All kinds of books. It's really cool when you start in this pack. It gives you this bag. Um, hmm... Let's see if I can find that real quick, just so I can show you. Uh, da -da. This one right here, Spawn Goodie Bag. And it has all the books in it. And it even says, do not open until you have a base. It fills your entire inventory. 
Um, the only book you start with is this one, but then you get another one also. That's just a, a guide to uh, unabridged. Um, and then everything you can think of, you get RF tools, all the tinker books, and all the witchery books and enhanced portals. Lexica Botania, Thaumenong, all these books were for free, which I think is actually kind of nice. Um, and then we have a downstairs where there's nothing happening yet, but I figured that's going to be like the machine room. I still have to make covers, actually. Let's... Did I make some covers? I did, but they're living wood. Let's see how that looks like real quick. I just don't want to see the the crafting stations from underneath. I guess that's not too bad. It gives it a little more color here. That's fine. And all I've been doing down here is just making living rock and living wood. And got a little window looking out. I thought it's kind of cool. And then the last thing is I wanted to have a green area. And it did not want to occupy more land around me, right? Because there's lots of people. So I made a little uh, rooftop garden here that we're going to get started with today. Oh, my day blooms are gone. Huh. So we do have that setting in Botania where the day blooms now despawn. Very interesting. I had four day blooms up here to get a little mana gone. And they're gone now. Interesting. All right. So we're going to have to figure something else out, but we're not getting into Botania itself. Um, and up here, I want to start with Agricraft today. And reason for that being is that I want to make sure that I can get my hands on mana petals and stuff, right? Because there is so little flowers that I was able to find. And in Agrocraft, we have all these petals here. So let's see, for example, Mystical White Flower Seed. We need to make a white tulip and a daisy seed and mutate that. I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to get podsel from. Is there a recipe to make podsel? Spruce leaves around dirt. Oh, that's easy. I can get spruce leaves. There's a forest with spruce leaves around the corner. Very cool. Oh, awesome. So um, let's get started with just making the, the parts and the machines for Agricraft. And let's see here real quick. What do we actually have? This looks like their service. So we might be able to... Some of these names I've never heard of. Cox Coal. So that's Coal. Sin. It might be Sink. Mithrium. Osmium. This pretty sure is Lapis. This might be the... The forest tree, the, the blue gems, what are they called again? Um, it don't matter, but you need those to make the the fertilizer stuff. <laughs> Watch this here, hold on. This stuff, appetite. <laughs> I remember there was some in my wall and I didn't care about taking it out yet. Um, so let's get started with that. Uh, first thing we're going to make is a seed storage. I looked through Agacraft. I've used it in um, regrowth a lot. I mean, very extensively. And also a little bit of Grand Skies too. But I, we haven't really used it in a while. So I figured we're going to do it again. And most of the crossbreeding and stuff I'm going to do between episodes. Because, you know, that's boring. But i never seen the seed storage. So I wanted to make one of these to check out what it does. And how much room it has. And we need a book. So I can make the book and quill. And then, what else do I need for this? Um, for crop sticks, let's make... Um, wow, what? You only get one. That is different. I'm, I'm used to getting four of these for four sticks. Okay, so that's going to be a little more expensive. But I got a little tree farm outside. And with the lumber axe, it's you know very easy to make. And I need four of any seed... Might not be able to use these. Let's get four seeds from up here. Because I know I have some. These are all the seeds that I have collected earlier. You know, during the last two days, I've been just throwing away everything. Uh, all the seeds and stuff. Because I didn't want to clog up my my chests and stuff. Okay, they're in the top slots. One, two, three, four. Let's put the book there. And these guys. And that doesn't work. Okay. Let's see what you want. Maybe I... It can't be that this is, requires you to have um, cross-breeded seeds. 
Am I doing something wrong here? Hmm. This makes no sense. Wolf Spain. All right, let's let's get some of the other ones. I can always get more seeds here shortly. I mean, that's that's no biggie. It said, let's try this, 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 and this. These are more fancy these seeds. I remember having this problem once before, but I don't remember what it was. There it goes. Okay, so apparently we cannot use regular seeds. So be it. But now we got our agriculture journal, and we still need to make the seed analyzer. What? Well, I'm out of sticks. Let's get these two more. Okay. We have a glass pane. Oh, this is a, a stone slab. Okay. Uh, do I have... Yes, I do. And let me put one of these away. There we go. Now we got our seed analyzer. And that was it. Yes. I already made the watering can uh, before, you know, to help with the tree growing and stuff. So let's put this guy here, the seed storage, right there. Growth gain strength. Interesting. I don't want to put any uh, regular seeds in there just yet, so I'm going to keep these separated over here. Ah, uh, yes, we forgot one more thing. Let me put away the string here. I was getting it earlier. And that is, I wanted to make this guy here. I've never used this before. I need more sticks. So I figured it's going to be a good time to try this out. It's the magnifying glass. You can inspect crops. So that's what I would like to know. And then I need to make, oh, I want to make an iron hand rake. And I figured later on we're going to play with this here also, but I just don't have a lot of iron right now. It says here you can use this to move plants from one crop to another, which would be a really cool thing. You know, if you have your crossbreeding section and then you get that one seed that you want, and instead of having to break it, you can put it over there. So let's get going with... Let's just start with these. That's what I really want to get to first is the petals for Botania. And then we figure out all the other stuff on the go, of course. So the white tulip is a daisy and a dandelion. And the daisy we get from dandelion and blue orchid. This one from sugarcane and melon. I don't think we have... I know there's melons out and about. But let's start with this here. Let's make the sugarcane. I don't think that you can put a sugar cane. No, that's going to give you sugar, right? That that makes sense. That's vanilla. I don't think that we can make a seed out of this. Yeah. Okay. You know, some of the other things you can put in, like a potato and a carrot, and that gives you the agri-craft um, seed for that. So, um, sugar cane was seed and carrot, and it needs to be on a piece of sand. So let's start with that. I'm just going to show you guys. I'm Hopefully, I'm going to be able to show you one of these crossbreeds here real quick so you get the idea in case you haven't done it before so uh, let's put that in the middle here ah oh, i hate when i do that ah that sucks <laughs> now i need to dig my way all the way over there because i jumped into this hole okay so the sand is placed here now i just had a little derp moment so i decided to cut that out it was like two minute wasted and now let's take these crop sticks and you only want to put down the crop sticks that you're actually going to plant something on. And what was this again now? I said uh, regular seed and carrots. So let's take oops, this one. Let's take this and that. And we don't need any glider right now. And put this on here and there. And now um, I don't put the stick in between just yet because you cannot crossbreed until these two are fully grown. And whenever there is a stick unattended without something on it, right, uh, you can get weeds on it very quickly. And weeds are super bad. Um, like this, this glass house down here, all the green plants are weeds. Um, you know, one probably got uprooted or something um, because usually these, these agri-craft buildings and villages, they have stuff in them um, that is growing already. And if one of them gets uprooted and just the sticks are still there, you get weeds and they spread, they will kill everything. So now we have both plants here, and then you just place a double crop stick in between. And now let's see if we can get something to spread over here. 
I do believe, yep, there we go. Oh, wow, we're lucky. Bam, sugarcane seeds. And you can also use bone meal on this to make it grow really fast, right? I actually don't need to upgrow it, but I wanted to show you guys real quick how it works when it is upgrown. 71%, almost there, come on. And mature. Instead of breaking it, you can just right-click everything here, okay? And right now, it needs to be with an empty hand. And you guys see right now, we're only getting one of everything. Once we upgrow these, we're going to get four of every product. And they're going to grow super fast. And I have no idea... Hey, what's going on with my... Wayla, that's numpad zero usually. Uh, da -da. Why is this numpad one here? Okay. Why why you change things on me, game? Let's move this out of the way. I don't like it up there. I like it down here in the corner. I don't know. It's it's just I'm so used to it, you know. It's in all my videos, it's down to the bottom right. So this is how this works. So now um you can do a U on this. And now we see poppy seed will make a cactus seed. Or whoops. There we go. Or a pumpkin seed will make the poppy seed. So, and the melon seed will make the dandelion and sugarcane and lettuce seed, which is from Mega Plant Pack, will make you spinach seed and so on. I don't know if we're going to get into these. It'd be kind of cool if we get them all eventually. But what I need to do now is get myself some melons and some pumpkins so I can get those seeds and now I BRB. Lots of time has passed since the last cut and I was very busy bre uh, up breeding. I guess it is breeding, crossbreeding, right? Uh, don't take these out. Um, and I got, you know, a bunch of the flowers. And I also got the mystical blue, orange, light blue, red, white, yellow. And I think... Wait. I don't understand the scrolling here. I don't know why they couldn't just do it up and down. <laughs> but yeah, we got we got lots of stuff. And I have them going over here. I got lots of pot, uh, pots all um i have 20 more over here and i cleaned up a little bit um now between episodes i'm gonna work on you know upgrowing these because they're very low just one one two and the problem is that i don't think you can um upgrow in a row so for example if i put this right here like that it will get the exact same stats um don't get this confused that these two are different because i did have another one here um so this will if i um spread it to over here it will also have one one two and one one two one one two it will keep going how I, how you need to do it is that you have one here you spread it to there then you spread it to here and now you can crossbreed between this one and this one okay and then what you want to do is upgrow this one to here and then crossbreed between this one and this one and so on and so on and this is just not a very um, effective setup I have here. I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to do that because I would like to get each one of them, everything that I'm going to grow up to 10, 10, 10, simply because then I only need one. You know, every time you harvest it, you get four. And later on, we're going to have a sprinkler system and so on. So, you know, it, you don't need more than one um, if you harvest regularly. That's my thinking. But I'll take care of that between episodes. Like I said, what I want to do now for the last little bit of the episode, let me sleep real quick, um, is I would like to build an Archimedes ship. Because I want to go fly around a little bit and, you know, find a spot of where I'm possibly going to move. And I was very busy the last hour and a half building uh, an airship tower over there, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And Archimedes ship. Let me pull that up real quick. I have played with that with you guys in Mod Sauce 1, I believe. Yep, and before that in Magical Adventures. And this is now called Archimedes Ships Plus. Not sure what the plus is. <laughs> um, it looks pretty much the same to me as it was, was before. Maybe this anchor point here is different. I don't remember this one. And I'm not sure what that is for. And I don't know if this wooden crate was there before. I don't know what that for is either. And I actually think we're going to make one just to just to see what this does. But let's go ahead and make some stuff first. Let's make the helm. That's the thing you need uh, in order to control the ship. And I also want to make some shore buffers. 
I think that we're probably gonna make a much bigger ship uh, in in the future, like an actual ship looking thing. That would be kind of cool. Um, so I'm just gonna make all of them. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna make something very small and easy. And I'm gonna need 12 of these. And you guys are gonna see why here soon. And these are shore buffers. Now, I have not checked the config, but by default, um, when you assemble the ship, it will not connect to things like grass, sand, and I believe possibly stone, but anything else like leaves, wood, um, all kinds of other blocks, um, it connects to and then it will form it as, an, as a ship. So if you want to dock against a building, you want to have these shore buffers because they will never connect to your ship. Okay, think of them like, um, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're on a big ship and you go into a harbor, you throw over these, I don't know what they're called. I think they're called buffers. I don't know. You know, they're on a rope and you throw them out. So when your boat crushes into the side of the dock, it doesn't get damaged and so on. I think of them like this. Um, so what was this here again? Three leather. I, oh, nice. I have three leather and three planks. Let's do it. I don't know what these are for, but we'll find out in a second. And yep, that should be all. I'm not going to put any chests up there. Nothing for now. I just want to fly around a little bit and, you know, get the lay of the lands and find out maybe if I find something cool um, in the area. And if we don't, then, you know, we're going to wait until beginning of next week when we can go beyond a thousand and do it from there. Oh, I can show you from down here. So this is that tower I built. Um, I, I don't have materials yet a lot. So I did just use uh, the chiseled cobble and gave it a little details here and there. Nothing fancy. And I brought this pressure plate. Another one of these doors. I love these. I, I don't know. I, I just can't get over that. I think they're so cool. And we're going to put this pressure plate right here so it automatically closes when you come in. Because it's already very tight in here. Now let's go up here. Let's get dizzy real quick. I was thinking first, you know, um, a ladder or something. Later on, I might put an elevator, an open blocks elevator here or something, possibly. I don't know yet, but how often am I going to go up and down here? So this is what it looks like up here. And these shore buffers here is what I want to put against this like that on all the sides and I think we're gonna assemble the ship right here so I'm gonna leave this gate open now the thing is I did not want to build this tower or I don't want to fly my ship ever into the village or near somebody else's base okay I'm always gonna make sure that I stay far away from it I don't know if there have been any improvements to the mod or not but if I for example fly that Archimedes ship against this building and then say assemble again it will try to connect every single block to it and in case i would have enough blocks you could pick up this entire structure i'm not kidding it is possible um, this one is quite big i think there's a limit of i don't know i don't know if it's 1024 or if it's 10240 blocks but it is quite a lot so i just want to make sure you know that i don't mess somebody else's place up so how do we want to do this and like i said i don't know what these are for but we'll figure it out so i think i'm going to just make this a just something very simple for now just so i can stand on it like that and put the helm right there that is it that's all i'm gonna do for now um and then like i said we're definitely gonna build a nice little ship i think it'd be cool like with sails or something and um, so now let's go real quick and check the key uh, key bindings. Um, boy, um, align. Let's do home key. Good. Ascend. Descend. Ascend. I'm gonna do mouse button four, even though that's assigned, it might still work. Descend. Mouse button five. Break. Oh boy. Um, let's do B or break disassemble i don't want to do i don't want to do disassemble with a button 
And ship's inventory cannot do F? Okay, sounds good. Now, hopefully, I remember this. Done. Now, right clicking, and we're gonna assemble the ship. Overflow. Tile entity is 43. Even though I'm against a buffer, you see, blocks 2049. It just tried to connect 2000. What the heck is the shore buffer for? It's not supposed to do that. And that's just silly. What? Hmm. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm probably going to have to get these from down below in a minute. All right. That sucks. That's exactly what these shore buffers are supposed to do. Prevent. All right. So now assemble ship. Okay. All right. And mount. Okay. What? Why is this falling to the ground? <laughs> Um, did I not make the right things? Air balloon. Oh my god, I made the wrong things, guys. A floater is for ships. And I'm, aha, uh -huh, so I need to make it out of these blocks. That's fine. Um, uh, what did I say now? F, disassemble. Let me break this here. Sorry about that. Um, that's fine. It was just wool and wood. Um, we have a lot of wood. We got a sheep farm and I got some string. You guys just saw the recipe. Let me go ahead and make these blocks real quick. And then I'll meet you back here and we try this again. All right. And I do want to try it out with the shore buffer again, guys. Because that is supposed to do exactly this. I'm not sure what the floaters are for now, actually. I, I need to figure out what those are for. And let's put the ship's helm here and assemble. Nope, still the overflow. I'm going to have to talk to them um, that this is definitely... Maybe it's got to be added to the config or something, but... All right, so put it like that. And now assemble ship. Cool. And mount ship. And I did have to change the key bindings, guys. Um, I'm using X and C, X to go down and uh, C to go up because I was not able to sprint. The regular sprint button for me is um, mouse button four. So, all right. Now, of course, I don't really want to land somewhere where it is where i could connect to something so like right over here now the normal way of landing is oh, break 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 okay now let's go down and then i can do inventory align and now you see how it twisted that around and now usually you if if you if i just press e now what is it shift no wait what i thought that so wait a second, do I always need to disassemble every time I park? I don't remember that it worked that way. Is there another key binding? Let's see. Disassemble. I don't want to disassemble every time I get off the ship. It should be... Shift. There it is, okay. So with shift you can get down and you see it's still, still movable. You can still push it around and stuff. And if you want to get back on, you just right click this. And now I'm back on the helm. And then now what I can do here. Uh, what? Why you not go up now? Am I in the way or something? There we go. Let's get out of here. Let me fly. No. Oh my. That is definitely not made for tight turns. Let me get out of here. I don't want to be down here. I just wanted to pick up these... Ow. These few balloons. Yay, we did it. And of course... I like to fly like this. Just because that way... I feel like I see more. Than if I'm, you know, in first person here. I got this huge thing in my face. Like this, I, I feel like I can see better. You guys see there's a, a roguelike dungeon over there. And I actually have planned of 
getting one of the skeleton spawners out of there and then possibly building a mob farm over here somewhere like probably not as as nice as that black tower there for the enderman farm because i just don't have anything yet um but this now allows me you know let's see here where do i want to go first um da -dum. let's just go east and i want to make sure what i always do is i turn around and i check here spawn all right and when i get to about a thousand i gotta stop i gotta go in a different direction or whatever but this now allows me now to you know look around oh there's already a a wither killer over there that's cool now check it out uh one more thing a line ship disassemble and now if if i don't disassemble up in the air you will fall through and then you need to pillar up so you can click on the helm and up here in the air i'm okay with disassembling because if i assemble it you know i cannot connect to anything but i wanted to try out these guys here real quick what is that can i mount this to the side here no on the top what are you wooden crate i'm right clicking it nothing happens well that's a bummer guys the last two and a half minutes of the recording got corrupted somehow so i'm re-recording this after the fact um and we did find out that these crates actually have a purpose i i googled it and found out that they are to transport entities so when you have one of them on your ship and you put an animal on it for example a cow it cannot leave that block it used to be that when you have a cow or any animal or something on your ship and as soon as you assemble it you know they just fell through because it's an entity but with those crates you can actually transport them which is really cool um i might make use to that you know what i mean um, if we find i don't know some horses or something we want to keep we can put them on here safari nets are probably easier but i don't have any of those yet and anyways guys that is it for today i hope you enjoyed the episode and you're looking forward to much more unabridged uh here on the primo server i'm really happy that i got invited here and that i got another series next to my uh, mod saw series and i'm also let me get my paper over here i wrote this down i am going to have a schedule starting well next week um, I want to be more on top of exact days and times when I upload things. And for right now, it might change over the next few days, but I don't think so. My plan is to upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays a Mod Sauce episode. And Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays an Unabridged. Um, and I am not uploading any videos on Mondays. Monday seems to be a really slow day on YouTube, at least for me and it's okay to have one day off right and arc videos i'm gonna upload whenever i have something there's no schedule for those only for the mods and the unabridged series anyways guys make sure you check out all the other folks from the server down in the description i'm gonna have the links to all their channels um i've been binge watching a lot of them um to get caught up on what they've been doing and so on here on the server and if you enjoyed the episode please don't forget to hit that like button um, it really helps me out and it shows me that you guys like this series. Um, please let me know. Any comments are appreciated. And also, I I take ideas of what we should build this season uh, on this server here. I, I do have a, one idea, but I don't want to give it away because in case I get some really good ideas from you guys. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode and until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.